Hello and welcome to a stream here on Behance and on YouTube. My name is Anna Davis Court. I am a children's book illustrator. Today I'm all alone. Oh no. But also, oh yes. <laughs> Uh, it's for a good reason. Today, Anthony is out at the beach, so we are just gonna round of applause for him. Yay. Learn from him. Take a vacation. Even in the middle of your work. <laughs> just go. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's out at the beach, and it looks like a lovely day. He sent me many a picture. I'll tell him to put them on the Discord, because you guys do not want to miss out. He went to one of my favorite towns in the world, I can safely say that, Astoria, Oregon is one of the places he went to. Also, uh, Gearheart and like other places. So all along the Oregon coast, it's just beautiful. But if you ever get the chance to visit Astoria, I just want you to, because it's just magical. I love that place so much. Go to the Astor Column, witness for yourself where the mighty Columbia meets the vast Pacific and uh, learn some of the history. It's amazing. Anyways, any hoots, any what's? Uh, by the way, Kendall gets the biggest gold star for being the first in the chat while almost simultaneously, Annika was almost, almost first saying hello and then <laughs> Joe comes in with a fist. I think, Joe, you meant to say first, but I, I love the energy. <laughs> Just a Joe fist. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for being here. I see Alessandra. I see Rin saying, oh, ho, ho. Dandy is a lion, Anna. Yes, exactly. I'm a dandelion. Woo. Watch me flow in the wind. Wait. Leaf on the breeze. References. Yes. Kendall says, I have been doing too much type design today. I need some fun illustration now. Please, let's do fun illustrations together. This one's gonna be very approachable for everybody. Hopefully, I mean, I think it is. <laughs> so uh, if anybody feels like drawing right now, I think we should do some fun drawing time. Uh, Joe says, aw. <laughs> Jake Green in the chat saying, hello all. I'm glad Anthony's taking a trip to the beach. So am I, so am I, seriously. Joe says, Anthony is looking, like a, uh, looking for giant mermaid women. All I wanna do is look up who is a giant mermaid. Can't get copyright struck if I change the words, right? Okay, let's jump into it. That reminds me, I really need to finish that mermaid piece. I feel like it's so close. I just wanted to like take another look at it. It's been a while, it's been a while. I think that's a common thing over the last few months is that I, we've done a lot of work on bigger pieces on the stream, but I haven't finished any of them. <laughs> so maybe we'll just do like a week of finishing or something like that. I don't know if I could do finishing on stream. There's something in my brain that feels like it's not done if I do it on stream quite yet. I literally, okay, so just a little story. Uh, you know, the mossy piece that we were working on where it was a bunch of rocks that were kind of like owls and there was that secret hidden dragon behind it. And we added Yuri the tortoise and everything. It was just, it was a magical piece. I really enjoyed painting that one and I think it turned out great. Um, but I wasn't sure if it was done done. And then I looked at it the other day. I was like, yes, it's done. Like, I don't know what else I would do to it right now. So I called it done. I think I slapped like my watermark on it and I still just haven't posted it. <laughs> So there you go, it's a story, woo. Alessandra says, happy Monday, how was your weekend? I went on a hike, Anna, I told you about it, I told you about it on Friday. Absolutely, hikes, you are amazing. Uh, I think that that is amazing to like take that time and do something, even if it's like a, a local thing. To me, vacation is a state of mind and I think that hikes get you there, as my friend Corinne calls it, a tree bath. <laughs> We all need deep tree baths. <laughs> uh, Jake says, yes, the mermaid piece was so beautiful. Thank you. Kendall says, the one where we got distracted and put holes all over the place. Yes, exactly. Yes, the holy piece. <laughs> Rin says, yes, I look forward to future mermaids. You know, if you ever have a request for what you want to do on a stream, please let me know because sometimes I'm like five minutes before the stream. I'm like, I don't really feel motivated to do anything. And you never know when an errant like, you should do this, will totally change that. And I'll be like, actually, I feel incredibly inspired and I need to do that now. Um, one thing I was considering doing was, um, what was it? It was, uh, oh, a Luca fan piece. I've been seeing a lot of people's like Luca Sonas. <laughs> If like there's a word for that, I don't know. But, uh, you know, in the movie Luca, uh, the characters are human 
outside of water when they're dry and then when they're in water they're like sea creatures so you can see that in the trailer it's not a spoiler at all it's the premise and uh it is beautiful the designs that they've done for these characters and so what i want uh i was thinking of doing is what a lot of these artists have done is a self-portrait on one side and then the other side is their like underwater sea self-portrait which would be so fun because there are all sorts of colors and design patterns and like scaly funness um, and if you follow any of the, the visual designer, the character designers, uh, you can see some of the process work for that movie and it is amazing. I should know their names by now. Cause I look at their work and I drool, but let me just find one of the artists because I need you to find, uh, I need you to see her work. It's just, <laughs> it's so good. I think it's Deandra D. Yeah, it's Deanna. Deanna Marsiglis. Uh, her handle on um, Instagram is Deanna Mation. So it's D E A N N A M A T I O N. There you go. All caps, all together. And uh, she does a ton, a ton, a ton of the work for the characters in different different ways, different mediums even. And uh, yeah, just looking through her Instagram, I think you would really enjoy it if you enjoy Luca. Okay, anyways, that was another, I digress. <laughs> Rin says, oh, Luca Sonas, that's adorable. Kendall says, wait, oh, Kendall says my brain feels like I've been working on a test, so this is my break. <laughs> Welcome to your break, have fun, relax. Uh, my client is still not giving me mood board feedback, so I had to push to Wednesday, but it's definitely throwing off timelines. That is unfortunate. I'm so sorry. It's one of the things is, um, as artists, I feel like we are always at the the bottom of the rung in terms of like um, who gets the responsibility for making like timeline work, the timelines work. Uh, and so I, I feel like uh, that's, that's deeply unfair and should be changed somehow, but I don't know how because... It should just be that the the further ups make things work for the timeline or at least extend it if you need it. Uh, and plenty of clients do that. But when they don't, it's basically just, well, rush and it's up to you. And it's like totally our fault. But anyways, uh, <laughs> Joe says, yes, Anna, do it. <laughs> Kendall says, ooh, this sounds like fun. Lucas Sonas, uh, you know, or Lucas Sonas, not Lucas. <laughs> uh, we should do that. We should all do that together. I think that would be really fun. Also, Kendall found Deanna's uh, Instagram. Thank you so much. Wait, is that the same one? Let me see. Because it's her full name on this one as her Instagram handle. Handle. I can talk. Yeah, that's the one. Here, let me show it off. Kendall, thank you so much. You do so much good work for this whole stream. And I just appreciate you deeply. Also, if you want to check out Kendall and Joe's uh, everything, <laughs> their uh, links are down below. It's Joe's Instagram and Kendall's website. So please check them out. They are the forever moderators and they are amazing, 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 amazing people and have amazing work. So go check it out. Okay, so uh, check out this. Oh my gosh, these are such great designs. So full of character, so sketchy. I just love the movement and like the fall off and the chonky versus the tiny little shapes, the knobbly knees, come on. And then as you get further down here, you see this is a Lucasona kind of thing, in water and out of water. Uh, as you get further down, you can see there are different types of paintings that come up. Like these are collage which is just the coolest to see mixed in here with like sketchy shapes, some of them digital, some of them traditional, and then just full on cut up textures and pieces smacked together a uh, collage <laughs> so i just love this i love this so much and she's amazing and follow her so end of diatribe wait i'm not supposed to say the word diatribe anthony's teaching me words okay so uh what are we doing today what am i not drawing let's see uh so what i wanted to do is make a reminder because i i just love um the idea of this, I think I got it from, where was it? Oh, it was Lee Ellickson. Lee Ellickson uh, had a, a vlog not too long ago that uh, she was doing a keychain about drinking water. And I just wanted to do a like, I don't know what this will end up being, but I wanted to do my take on drink water as well. Cause I had an idea come to mind and I was like, I should make that. 
Ow, my elbow just hit the table real hard. Uh, so I'm wondering what the saying should be, like drink more water, drink your water, or just drink water, uh, or drink up. We'll just leave it like that for now. Uh, but I had this little idea come to mind. <laughs> it's kind of like an idea bubble. It's goofy. Uh, that it would be a cloud just completely dousing somebody in water. Like, just downpour rain, and then it would say, like, drink, or whatever. And this very much goes along with the Lucasona. <laughs> we can do, like, top-down Lucasona. <laughs> like, oh, hey, you're wet from here up. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so this is just one idea. I wanted to sketch out multiple to see if we came up with anything cooler or whatever. Um, and also, I've been having a lot of fun sketching out non-human characters lately, like making everything a little cat or something. Uh, so that's the point, is just to play around. Oh, thank you so much. Kendall's putting all the links in the chat. Thank you so much. Even for Lee Ellickson and also drink that water. I agree. We need to drink more water. I definitely do. James just refilled my water glass before this. So thank you, James. Woohoo. Alessandra says, I post pictures of where I went this weekend on the Discord in the where the where in the world section. Let's see real quick. Boop. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is the Discord. Welcome. Uh, if you're not a part of it yet, there is a link in the description. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. It looks like castle -y back there and like ruinous or something, which is the, the the vibe. <laughs> uh, I was just playing uh, Breath of the Wild last night. Man, I really want to play more of it. James is like, we can space it out. And I'm like, I want to play more now. This is so pretty, Alessandra. Oh my gosh. Oh, I want to go to there. Also, um, I saw a video of a tiny little windmill being made with rocks. And they're like stone masonry, but like with little rocks instead of full on stones making a building. And it... It really tickled that like crafting side of my brain where I'm like, I want to build things out of stones. And like, I'm sure that anybody who also collects stones when they go places like, this is a really cool looking one. I'll do something with it someday. And then you never do. And you just have like a bunch of rocks built up. Um, yeah, I want to use them in something that I keep. So maybe I'll make a windmill for my future garden someday. <laughs> Speaking of future garden, my current garden uh, is popping up a potato from a long forgotten potato patch that I have. It's in our yard, <laughs> which is just our little overhanging uh, long pot that we let grow whatever it wants. Once upon a time, many a year ago, a potato sprouted. And uh, so I put it in the dirt and watched it grow and grow and grow and grow and then i i guess they just keep doing that year after year <laughs> so it's magical to watch happen and i just love plants and i hope so much in the future that i can have a vibrant and thriving vegetable garden because man oh man how lovely would that be should the mouth be like open like <laughs> this is a weird image altogether maybe It should be a happy mouth, so it's not like a weird thing. Yes. I think uh, I would denote the water just in color, so I'm going to just draw through everything. Uh, let's make it a little cat person. Wait, cats don't like water, right? They can like water, whatever. Who cares? <gasps> Cabibaras love water. They're marine mammals. Ain't they just the best? Yeah, happier, happier. That's the way. Just curve the eyes. If you want something to look really happy, curve the eyes up. If you want them to look peaceful, just curve the eyes down. Mm, I can make that better. There we go. Much better. Much better. <laughs> These are now my professional portfolio faces. Yes, good. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. Uh, Kendall says my mother is one of those who collects rocks, but they always uh, they're always wet when she finds them, and they dry, and they no longer look cool. Oh my gosh. So you need uh, a basin full of water that you grow maybe lily pads in, and all those rocks sit at the bottom so that they're always cool looking. Uh, but I totally know what you mean. Kendall also says, "Ugh, we had a potato thriving in our compost pile, but my dad thought it was a weed and threw Roundup on it. Oh, so sad. Just thriving. Poor baby. <laughs> Alessandra says, thanks, it was fun. It was a historic huge mansion, but man, I can't remember. Lol. <laughs> it was so big, it didn't fit my camera up close. Lol. Oh my gosh. It looks so beautiful. You should paint it. I think that's that's the move. <laughs> Kendall says, um, at least the squash or pumpkin is thriving. That's awesome. You don't know what kind of gourd you have, but uh, <laughs> it's thriving. I love it. Anthony Jackson in the chat. Hello. Uh, Anthony says, ah, drinking water reminder. Sounds refreshing. Exactly. Very refreshing. That's the, the key word we should go for for the mood of this one. Um, Kendall says Lego faces. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. So this one has like little, we fit together. Oh my gosh. Is that a cute little Valentine's card or something? We fit together. Cute. Cute. Not an innuendo at all. Uh, just cute. Uh, Joe says Mod Podge them. It helps a little bit. What, what is mod podging? I mean, no, I know what mod podge is, but I'm just saying, like, what are we mod podging? It helps a bit. I am confused. But, uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, Jake says, just got back. Looks like I missed a drink cloud. You know, drink clouds every once in a while. That's, uh, that's what we do. <laughs> I missed the drink cloud. That's too bad. It comes around once in a millennia. Okay, so I think I'll do like a little eh. <laughs> just for now. Just for now, we might not. Get, uh, okay, eh, I'll do one side. One side. I don't know. We're just playing with it. This is the sketch phase. Be loose, Anna. Uh, I have. Well, no, I drew a little bit today. I'm uh, practicing the main character for my next book that I just signed on for. So I have a current book that I've been working on, but then there's another one. A 32 pager baby um, that I just signed on for so that one uh, yeah I'm just practicing the character I can't really tell you much about it but uh, it's just it requires a little practice uh, and I can't wait it's gonna be very exciting so pew, pew. I gotta say I'm not like completely in love with this design yet <laughs> but we will see what happens? I'm gonna give him a little Peter Pan collar. Whoop, beep, bop, beep. And then since I'm wearing my overalls today, I'm gonna give them overalls too. Boom, nailed it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh, put Mod Podge on the rocks. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That's awesome. Uh, also, has anybody ever tumbled rocks? I am very curious about that. I had a rock tumbler when I was younger, but I don't think I ever stuck it out for the whole duration because it takes time to do that. Uh, Alessandra says, I brought my Polaroid Insta camera and only had two spots left in it. So I had to pick which parts of the hike to take pictures. Oh my gosh. There was also a nice fountain. That's awesome. Uh, I love Polaroid cameras. So many good memories with those. Ugh good stuff. I'm hoping that uh, you felt very satisfied with your choices. <laughs> I know there's a lot of pressure when you have limited film to like take the right picture. It's annoying. Especially with how expensive film is now. Ugh, it's annoying. Uh, Kendall says, ah, oh, never tried that before. Maybe next rock she finds we'll test it. Sounds good. Uh, ooh, thank you. Thank you. People are saying awesome on the new book. Congrats. Yay, thank you. <laughs> Alessandra's asking, where is Anthony? Came in late. Uh, yes, Anthony is at the beach right now. So you don't even have to send him good vibes. He's got them all. He's sending them back to you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's at the beach right now, which is awesome. And uh, it's probably the best reason that you could miss the stream. So we love it for him. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Kendall says I watched a whole TikTok on tumbling rocks. I believe it. You would. You would. Does that count? Lol. Sure, in a way. 
<laughs> Anthony Jackson says, used to have a Tumblr, but uh, quit because so many unwanted ads kept popping up. Oh my gosh, you're talking about the site Tumblr. That's hilarious. <laughs> rock Tumblr? No, I rock Tumblr. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Tumblr really went the way of the dinosaurs for me. Uh, I used to love it. It was really easy to talk to people on there and stuff and share artwork after the initial phase of like posting. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely changed now, <laughs> don't you think? I don't know. It was when they started cutting or like, what did they do? It was like the oh, you can't have nudity on there. And they marked almost all of my pieces as nudity. And I was just like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, but anyways, uh, so what is another idea we could do for drink water? Um, drink up. I would love to do something decorative with botanicals. So I might just do like a little reminder to myself to do like some kind of circular. Of course, when I think of like, anything that's like this I'm like oh but if it's a sticker then uh it could be whatchamacallit uh cheaper to print if it's circular <laughs> yes I am that cheap <laughs> but I also love the design of circular things especially if you fill it out in a way that's really satisfying mm, yes good 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 okay and then we would have maybe uh drinking something let's see Oh, mm, okay. I'm having ideas. <gasps> oh, okay. So one thing uh, that I just thought of some kind of maybe a puddle with like a frog sticking out of it and it has its little reflection in the water and it's just like happy in there and it's really fat. And it's got the little satisfied eyes. Satisfies. Boom, boom. And it's like. <laughs> Maybe, baby. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, and then that could have like things coming out of it, like cattails and such. Oh, I love a good cattail. We actually have so many cattails coming up near our place, and I named one of them James, and he's coming along beautifully. So every time we walk, we get to see his progress. Again, these are loosey-goosey sketches, so not caring about exact everything. It's to get the ideas out, and I hope you guys do this too. Uh, <laughs> Kendall says, Tumblr killed itself. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, ooh, Jake says, I used a rock tumbler. Or wait, I used a rock tumbler. <laughs> you got me, you got me. Uh, <laughs> Kendall says, I have two Kodak pleaser cameras. What are those? Uh, they have, they were attempted Polaroid camera competitors, but they got sued. Oh no. <laughs> See, I wish there was more competition in the Polaroid arena because dang, we need more. I think they're, that, that's too much. I stop suing each other. Okay. I need competitors. <laughs> Kendall says sips and slup water. <laughs> sure. Capybara. Oh my gosh. Capybara. We'll have to do a capybara one. Uh, is it the tallest cattail? It is probably the tallest, I think. It was one of the first to spring up. And James was just, by the way, if you don't know, my partner's name is James. And so whenever I talk about James, it's him. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he was really sad last year when they cut down all of the grasses. There's a creek near us and it's just lush and full and beautiful. And they cut down everything at one point. And he was just like, man it was so beautiful why'd they cut it all down and so when the cattails came back i was like look look they're back james look 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 and i was like that one's you <laughs> uh so yeah it's he's doing very well thriving one might say okay uh let's see here pew, pew, pew. capybara capybaras are such fun shapes but uh uh, patrons know that I've been working on a capybara piece lately and it's been cursing me. <laughs> I feel like uh, it started so strong and I felt really confident about it. And then I came back the next day and I was just like, I don't feel the same way about it, which is one of those like, oh, woe is you artist moments or whatever. Uh, really not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things, but it feels like uh, it's a bad feel, you know, when you look at your own art and you're like, 
It's just missing something and I don't know what. <laughs> Especially when other pieces are like, oh, I, I'm perfectly aware and like I'm done and you're, you had such fun making me happen. And now it's just like, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like you have one child that's so easy and then the other one's just like, I don't want to eat my broccoli. Just like, ah, fine then. But you know, sometimes those, those guys just turn out beautifully as well. And sometimes you just need to give up and start again. <laughs> don't don't take that over to children. That's not an option there. <laughs> but with art, it definitely is. So one thing I'm tempted by with capybaras is to make... Um, there are two ways that I like to think about them. One is uh, super graphic rectangle heads. And then the other one is like swoopy rectangle heads. Because <laughs> they are rectangle heads. If you've seen a capybara, they are chonks. Um, but sometimes I want to play with that and make it like a little bit of a woo 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 woo, you know? Um, and so that's the, the battle that I'm fighting in my head is do I make it strong angles or do I make it tapered swoopies? Because I love them all, as you know. It's just shape design, you know? D Ross is in the chat. What's up? Saying last. <laughs> Thank you so much for popping in here. Everybody's like, D, Kendall, Jake, ah, screaming each other's names. Ibrahim is in the chat. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. We're just drawing a, uh, a reminder for everyone to drink water, and I hope that you guys are all drinking tons of water during the stream. I'm going to take another sip. Ha ha ha. Mmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Chop. <laughs> Also, it's pretty hot right now. I had to close the windows for the stream, so I'm like sweating. Uh, also wearing my overalls that are pants. Should have worn shorts, but it's okay. It's just, it's how the days go, you know? They get hotter. What's that about? Okay, so, um, oh my gosh, should he be drinking like a little, <gasps> ooh, nah, mm, I have some ideas. Okay, so the recent piece that I've done, there's like a water line like around here which I love the idea of just being submerged in water for the drinking. I think that that's, that's fun. <laughs> Ibrahim says, what's water reminder? Oh yeah, yeah, I see that. Uh, yeah, it's just a reminder to drink water. We could put this anywhere. Uh, it's just like a graphic to remind you. I'm thinking possibly stickers, maybe a background, maybe both, maybe neither, who knows? It's just an idea. I just want to uh, draw something and this came to mind. But the other uh, concept for this, other than like being submerged in water, is doing like a little, what if there was a loopy straw or something? There could be a loopy straw or there could be, uh, mm, what if there's like a teacup? Is this madness? Who cares? Right? Not me. <laughs> Are we goofy yet? I don't know. Also, does the capybara need to hold it? Is that weird? I do love their little bird feet. They're pretty cute. Maybe they need a hat. I think hats balance everything out, right? Happy bar chillin'. Especially in the sketch phase, I shouldn't even be asking. There is no right or wrong. This is just flow time, you know? Literally. Because it's water. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Rin says mermaids need ample hydration. Oh, man. That is a good idea. It's true. I should do a mermaid version. Also, Paulino, hello from Brazil. Obrigado. Uh, thank you for being here. Alessandra says, lol, nice, Kendall. <laughs> Why does your sister have all the Polaroids? Is it all a different color, lol? Oh, I must have missed something. Yes, Kendall says if it's going on a water bottle, it can also say drink me. Exactly. Oh, there's so many options for what it can say and how it can say it. <laughs> Rin says, ah, capybara with the teacup. So whims whimsical and adorable. <laughs> Uh, Kendall says capybara in a tea sauna. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Jake says I get puns. <laughs> Steaming up in that tea. Exactly. We're all steeping, you know? 
Okay, so here are some some ideas. Let's uh, go for another roundup of ideas. Um, full body capybara this time. I'm gonna do full body, full bod capybara. Should it be a character or like an actual animal capybara? We're just gonna try animal right now. I think that they're a perfect mascot for water stuff and my arm is sticking to this antique so badly. Oh, it's disgusting. So what we're gonna do is glove up. And also Kendall is amazing and reminding me that it's been an hour and it's, er, pff, that it is an hour long stream today so that I uh, can do monkey paws now, which is great because it's a halfway point and that is perfect. Uh, I'm just gonna get this idea out real quick. I'm gonna put the teacup on its head just for funsies. Uh, and it'll, I don't know, let's see. Hmm. Uh, drink water. Uh, let's do, we're just playing around, okay? Drink water. Oh, writing like that is weird. Okay, anyways, um, yes, let's do some monkey paws. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. If you are new here, this is, uh, yes, first of all, we are doing one hour stream today. I'm sorry, I have to cut things short, but like I said, I have two overlapping books now, so life is taking over. <laughs> but uh, my goal is to always, you know, continue streaming regularly. So as I figure this out, I hope you guys are patient with me. And um, if you want to stay up to date with everything stream wise, I am fairly constantly making up what the stream time is going to be, like how long it's going to be. And if I'm going to do a stream pretty close to the time that I would start it. Uh, usually our schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. But as you can see, sometimes it changes. And so uh, if you want to be up on the latest, newest everything, then join our Discord. The screen, the stream, the scream schedules. <laughs> I'm screaming now. Uh, the, the stream schedules are uh, a whole channel and I alert everyone whenever a stream is starting. And if you just keep an eye on it when uh, you're curious when the next stream is, then I will try to post as soon as I know when something changes or something's gonna stay the same, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, any who's, any what's it's. Let's do monkey paws, baby. So monkey paws, wow, I'm sweating real bad. Uh, monkey paws is a hand stretch that we all do together. I'm gonna give you the instructions. So uh, just follow along with what I'm doing and you will be better for it, hopefully. <laughs> all right, so first of all, we're paying attention to our bodies. Don't do anything that's gonna cause you pain. So we start with uh, putting your arms out in front of yourselves and fingers to the sky, palms away. And then we curl our fingers into what we call a monkey paw. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Good job. <laughs> uh, and then we put our fingers down, palms towards ourselves, and then we curl our fingers in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Oof. I need this. I can feel it. Especially in the left hand, which is unusual. Usually it's the right. Uh, third pose, we flip our palms out and our fingers down, and then we curl our fingers in. Ooh, ooh, ah. It's hard to do with the microphone here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and... <laughs> Kendall is asking very politely if we can change stream schedules in the Discord to scream schedules. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it makes more sense with the rest of the channel names. We have puns everywhere. So I scream, you scream, we all scream the schedules, you know? Uh, fourth and final pose, we put our fingers up, palms towards ourselves, and then we curl our fingers in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Catch these fists. Come at me. <laughs> And then we do these poses again, holding for about a second. Uh, we repeat it around 10 times so that we can get a nice stretch in our wrists and our tendons and take care of ourselves. This is just a reminder to do whatever stretches you want. This is not a hard and fast rule. It's basically just a uh, time for you to relax and remember to pay attention to your body. You should definitely do this whenever you're working, especially for uh, long periods of time. I know sometimes your brain says, don't take a break. I want to keep going. But even just a minute or two can make a world of difference in the terms of uh, your longevity and your health. What was it I heard this morning? There was a quote. It was like, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I think that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jake says, I just Googled capybara babies. Oh my goodness. Cappy babies. <laughs> Wait, oh my gooses. Is that a saying? I love it. 
Uh, yes, capybara babies, capy babies are one of the best things in the world. Do yourself a favor and just Google any baby animal. I just saw a video of a baby beaver, baby beaver from the Oregon Zoo, which is an account I highly recommend you follow if you want just amazing animal content. Huh, so good. I'm also going to do the one where I grab the thumbs and then gently lean forward like this. Very gently because this is stretching this tendon along your hand and it's uh, it's very sensitive. Do not break it. <laughs> um, but anyways, baby beavers are so cute. Ah, ah. I love them. Also, beavers just do great things. I think I told you guys about a floodplain that they were scheduled to take like 10 years to revive it from this agricultural like it, it basically all the water had gotten sucked it out, out sucked it out of it <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna do a few more stretches here uh so they sent beavers in and what would have taken 10 years and like millions of dollars to do they set up the area for $58,000 to make it habit wow crack crack $58,000 to set it up for the beavers to move in and it took them three years to completely revive a floodplain, which is a very important part of the ecosystem. And it's just amazing what animals can do because they're built for it. They're literally just little engineers who are like, I'm going to go make a dam and terraform this whole area. Like, <laughs> and we have beavers near us and I just, I appreciate them so, so much. It's amazing. I'm going to stand up. Show off my Adobe Creative Residency shirt. Oh, yeah. And my overalls. These are new. Woo, woo. <laughs> but really, I just want to stretch it out. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I am so sweaty. I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> or not. Just look away. Look away. <laughs> Rin says, ice cream schedules. Yes. We all just sit around eating ice cream and draw along. I know in this motion. Seconded. Okay, it has passed with resounding popularity. All right, let's get back to this, whatever this is. Oh, I just realized since we only have an hour, I'm gonna get like nowhere with the drawing. But, you know, getting ideas out there is great. It's, it's a great part of the process. And I think the longer we spend in the messy areas, the more our final pieces will thank us. Just like the ounce of prevention for a pound of cure, you know? We wanna do the work up front. <laughs> Jake says, baby birds are not super cute, lol. <laughs> One of my friends made a joke about pigeons being fake because you never see their baby, so I had to show her baby pigeons. <laughs> oh, it's too good. These are the kind of conversations I want to happen. <laughs> so thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> oh, and Kendall, thank you so much for putting a link in the chat for the Adobe Creative Residency, which you, if you don't know anything about that, go check out my YouTube page. I have so much information about it. Or just Google Adobe Creative Residency because then you'll learn about it firsthand. Uh, it is life changing. It's amazing. You should know about it. Definitely. Okay. So what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Uh, I want to also play more with... <gasps> Sorry, I just had an idea because the teacup. Okay, we can make any vessel, but I'm just thinking teacup right now because it's cute. Um, but with a frog in it. This has probably been done somewhere at some time, but I just want to do it now for me. How do I... I guess I'll make it a little bit higher and then... Whoops, that's not what I want. I want his mouth to be submerged so it's like he's always drinking. Maybe he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Is that weird? I don't care. Cute. Oh my gosh. Little baby. Little bebe. Okay. There we go. There we go. Go, go. Here we go again. You guys remember OK Go? I think I was reminded because once upon a time, uh, you know when people would make like fan music videos to things? I think they're called AVIs where you basically take like video footage from a show or whatever and you just superimpose it with some music to make like a, a fan music video from a show. Anthony made one of those for Sergeant Frog, which is an anime about frogs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was with an OK Go song, Invincible, I think it was, right? Is that the song? Anyway, so now whenever I think of frogs, I think of OK Go. And treadmills, obviously. Everybody remembers the treadmills, right? 
You got her. Okay, so... Oh, man. Should I... Oh, could there be, like... <gasps> Ideas are cute. Okay. Oh, should that be a new sticker? Ideas are cute. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a sticker person now. Uh, I do enjoy making stickers, but... Uh, anyways. <laughs> Unimportant. Dri oh, dri drink. Up. <laughs> that doesn't really fill this space well, but that's for tomorrow, Anna. Um, <laughs> Jake says, OK Go has super interesting videos. Yeah, Kendall says, OK Go still has some good music. You know who just came out with a new song? I'm not that big of a fan of the song, but I think that the, the vibe of the music video is really fun. Uh, Matt and Kim. They did, uh, well, they've done a lot of songs that you might know of, but um, they just have really fun, peppy kind of music. I don't know how to describe it other than that. Anyways, uh, I enjoy watching them on YouTube as well. If you want to see some crazy stuff, watch their home tours. My goodness, are they rich. <laughs> but it's like a bunch of punk kids got money. <laughs> that kind of thing. I love it. Uh, Jake says, OMG, I saw a funny video of a cool crochet frog. Think in a teapot. Think in a teapot? I'll put it in the Discord somewhere. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to see all that. Everything about it I like. Kendall says, I like watching their videos. Yes, Jake. Uh, maybe a cute animal drinking water through a straw. <laughs> D says, drink water. <laughs> it should all just be one word. Drink water. <laughs> this is my drink water. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Anthony Jackson very aptly says, a paper straw, or a metal straw, or a glass straw. Something reusable, recyclable, better for the planet. I agree. Rin says, uh, mermaid steeped and draped comfortably with a mug of water. I love it. Uh, let's... Oh, it's in videos. It's got language, though. Language, Captain America. D says, probably for practice or enjoyment. Portfolio illustrations. Oh, yeah. Uh, the This illustration is just for like a fun design that we might make into a sticker or a background or something to remind you to drink water. Um, but mostly it's just for funsies, you know? That's why we draw. Uh, okay, so mermaid. Woo! Oh, it was mermaid. Ooh, mm. Tall glass. <laughs> I just had a weird thought. I was like, mermaid, but is she sipping the water? Because that would be cute, but then it's like sipping your bath water, and that's weird. But then I guess the same concept is like, if any of these are in the water. Hmm, is that disturbing? Is that too much? <laughs> oh, Jake says, just so you don't play it on stream. I agree. I'll watch that one afterward. Uh, I appreciate the warning, definitely, because sometimes I could probably get in trouble. <laughs> Although, I have to say, Behance has been pretty cool so far. I don't think I've ever been reprimanded. Although one time Anthony did, but not for what he was, like, doing on stream. It was that he came into a stream and they were saying a word that he typed in. And then uh, they said it was inappropriate. It's the anatomy of the upper chest of a female, biologically. I don't know what to say. Anyways, it was boobs. There you go. That was That was it. <laughs> And then they were like, Anthony, you done wrong. And then he was like, what did I do wrong? They said it. <laughs> Which is so Anthony to be like, I did nothing wrong. <laughs> He's going to watch this replay and be like, I did nothing wrong. I see you, Anthony. I see you. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, if anybody has uh, sentiments that they would like to... Um, send along to Anthony, say them, and then I'll say them, and he's going to watch this. So just know that he'll see it. <laughs> uh, so I want these arms to, like, overlap the edge where they're kind of, like, sitting outside of the the glass, like, chilling. And hey, maybe this isn't the drink water one. Maybe this is just a mermaid one. And who cares? Because, like... I don't. <laughs> beep, beep. Oh, Dee says, hi, Anthony. We miss you. Cute. <laughs> Jake says, tell Anthony boobs for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh my gosh, and Kendall had to approve that comment. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. I love it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Jake says also, uh, don't burmaids, <laughs> don't burmaids, <laughs> don't burmaids breathe their bath water though? I agree. Yes. And also the ocean is everyone's bath water, so... What do we say about that? Also, Jake is totally right. Boobs shouldn't be a bad word. Uh, it's not a bad word. It's whether it gets um, marked by sites. And I think that gets much more into what you want people talking about, I should say, uh, rather than like, I don't know. There, there's a lot of things to discuss, especially on an art site where I'm sure there are artistic nudes being done all the time. Uh, it's just how sites develop along with that. And that gets back to the conversation of Tumblr. That was exactly their problem is like, we have a bunch of nude artwork and we also have a ton of nudity in other ways, <laughs> uh, sexually explicit stuff. And, um, so they wanted to cut down on one, but not the other. And they ended up cutting down on all of it and then losing a bunch of people. So, uh, that... It's one of the consequences, and I think they also, um, there was, for some reason, they wanted to get all the explicit stuff off, and sometimes that's what people come to the website for, so. Just knowing your audience, I think, is a big part of it as well. Uh, clutching your pearls and saying things are bad is definitely not the way, um, that the world will thank you. <laughs> you can do that if you own a website, sure, but, like, I'm just saying, sometimes you might, uh, what do you call it? alienate your audience if that's what your audience wants and if that's not the audience you want that's your prerogative it's all just up to people um but knowing that rules set by individuals or websites or whatever that's for the individual or the website like that is not for the world that's not saying that boobs is a bad word in fact it's a very good word boobs are great so it's just one of those like uh you have to just kind of not take it as a judgment of good in the world. Because <laughs> you're totally right, Jake. <laughs> Rin says, poodle pants antics. Poodle pantics, if you will, are at it again. Or is it poodle P Anthony? <laughs> that was the secret word that we had last time. Uh, when Anthony was gone, we left a secret phrase for him to repeat to me once he saw the, the video. <laughs> Which was perfect. Oh, uh, Rin says, oh, goodness. <laughs> Jake says, it's got to be context related for sure. Also, how many times can I say boob in a stream without getting, like, I don't know, a slap on the wrist? I don't know what would happen. <laughs> Kendall says, I think you also have to think about the age of the audience, too. Absolutely. That's another thing about it. But also, I don't know. No, I think on on Tumblr they had an age barrier, but it's literally just like one click through. So... There's a lot to be said about teaching children about the internet and things like that. Uh, so I think that's a much longer conversation that I don't know if I'm even qualified to have. But uh, I, I think if your kid wants to access stuff, they will. That's generally my thought. <laughs> um, uh, Kendall says it's hard when you're targeting a general audience to figure out what's okay, uh, in, uh, ugh, what's an okay context and what's not. Absolutely. That's one of the reasons that I've never done uh, nude drawings on here is because I just don't even want to touch that with the 10 foot pole on streaming. I'll totally do it on my own time. Like everybody draws nudes um, in a, a way that's like anatomy is in every single art school curriculum. You have to draw nude people. And uh, that is like, it in a way makes you so comfortable with the human body that it's not even an issue anymore. You're not like, oh, this is something else. It's like, no, I literally look at this to do my job or like to learn. Like I am a student. This is just like watching, a, you know, somebody write math on a blackboard. You're studying it. Um, so it, it takes away any of that feeling of like, ooh. So now I think of people who are like, oh, you draw nudes in art school? And I'm like, okay, if you're thinking of it like that, art school is not for you. <laughs> Gotta be a lot, like, I don't know, I guess more mature. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Jake says, yeah, I gotta have more nuance uh, to your policies than they did. <laughs> it did a very big disservice to the, pro the program. What do you call it? The 
platform. There we go. Kendall says it's hard when you're targeting a general audience to figure out what's okay context and what's not. Absolutely. Uh, Jake says, yeah, definitely a symptom of a much bigger societal issue. Very, very, very true. Kendall says, uh, Tumblr let the adult content get a bit out of hand, in my opinion. And then when they fixed it, quote unquote, <laughs> uh, that had become their main function for their site. So they killed their own business model. <laughs> This is actually, that's again, it's just the quote of the day. An ounce of prevention is worth a, t uh, a ton of cure, <laughs> a pound of cure. So if they had prevented those things from the beginning, from popping off, maybe they wouldn't have had to uh, cut down so harshly later. Anyways. Uh, okay, so we've got a happy little mermaid. Oh, it's kind of creepy now. Great. Boop, 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 boop. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I'm not sure where to go with that one yet. So I'm going to draw another one. Uh, remember you, remember to drink water? Remember. This is going to be turning into cocoa. Uh, whoop. Beep, beep, beep. Boop, boop, beep. Beep, beep, boop, beep. Uh, by the way, I just wanted to mention that I am making uh, magnets for my patrons this month. Uh, the $15 tier, the top tier, uh, is getting magnets along with their postcards this month. And I just discovered something. Okay, are you ready for my revelation? It's very exciting. So I have these little, um, oh, thank you so much, D, <laughs> saying your handwriting is pretty. Thank you. I think it's almost illegible, but thank you. Um, so <laughs> uh, my, my thing was, okay, so I have these little magnets. They're little discs. And I usually glue them to the back of my, okay, do you want to see? No, I shouldn't show it. I want it to be a surprise. Okay, um, so I have little magnets that I, I make, and I usually glue them to the back actually okay here's one that i i'm not giving away this is just a prototype let me show you up close beep 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 beep, beep. there we go uh, sweat sorry okay so <laughs> uh this is a little i think it was a gypsy moth uh which is not a good name but it's what i know them by so anyways um so on the back here usually i would put like two magnets right here and here and uh so that sticks to a fridge metal surface whatever and uh, that was what I thought I had to do. What I realized this time is that I can actually enclose the magnet in the clay and then bake it and it retains its magnetism. <sighs> so now, now, instead of gluing things, I can just put it into the magnet and it can be completely seamless. It's just, uh, it's a little bean that sticks to things. Like, how cool. I, oh, I need a big fat, like, remind or uh like warning to be like there's a magnet in this so that people don't put it on things that shouldn't have magnetized things near them because i don't want that to happen but also how cool to like have just one little seamless thing that just happens to stick to metal and it's like it just it makes me really happy <laughs> I don't know why. It's just really good to me. I, I love it. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, I don't think I'll have it implemented by this time because I kind of have this design already done for these magnets. But for the next round of magnets, I'm totally doing it. Totally, totally, totally. Or I don't know if I'll, you know, who knows what the future holds. So uh, if I um, do an online store anytime soon and I offer magnets, then that will probably be wa the way that I do some of them. Ugh. So yeah, it's, um, it's because, well, okay. So there are two different types of magnets and I didn't know what kind I had. Uh, and so I just tested it and I was like, you know, if it lo the online consensus is the worst, uh, case scenario would be that it loses its magnetization or it becomes weaker. And so I just tried it and it was completely just as strong as before. So yay, <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Thank you guys. You're all so excited for me in the chat. I love it. I love it. Jake says, I have a monster magnet from Andy Bergoltz and he embeds the magnets in the casting process too. That is so cool. Oh, I love it. They probably look super pro like that. Oh, 
always trying to up my sculpting and magnet game and I think I'm getting somewhere, but man, there's, there's a journey ahead. I know that. And someday, someday it's gonna be ceramics, okay? And that's gonna be a very exciting day. Okay. Uh, mm, nom, 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 nom. Okay, so this is, say it's on your water bottle. You don't want another water bottle or like glass or anything like that. Maybe, it, I mean, teacups are really cute. So the design there could be really adorable. Um, I really like the teacup of a frog idea. We will see, we will see. I might be able to do something cool with the lettering too, like a drink up. Ah, that's cute. Ah, uh, mm, okay, yeah, okay. I have another idea. Let me show you. I just love idea streams like this because you guys just see me freak out every once in a while as I'm staring off camera. I'm sure it's amazing content. <laughs> okay, so we've got a teacup. We've got our little froggy frog. We're just gonna, um, he needs to be a little bit smaller. This is gonna be his little jacuzzi. Uh, and it's gonna be a glass glass. I should have made this, I don't know. It's uh, as in like it's see-through. And then we've got water in here. And then I think in here we could have the little letters floating around almost like little bubbles. So imagine this D instead of being a D is like a little bubble D. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Are you seeing the vision? Are you seeing it? And they could be like slightly off kilter. So it feels like they're kind of floating in there. How cute. Oh, I love it. Drink up. And then there's just a little like froggy frog staring at you. Maybe, hmm. trying to think of oh that'd be cute like little water coming off is that the sign of like stress though i feel like anime characters always do that if there's water coming off it's sweat and they're like Ooh. <laughs> oh i love it you guys are so nice whenever you <laughs> you're like watching along with the process you're like i get it i get it which is so cool kendall says it's always amazing content when we get to hang out on stream oh thank you kendall you're so nice. <laughs> jake says here for epiphanies <laughs> Oh my gosh, is that a shirt? Let's make it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys. I saw the coolest, I think the coolest, honestly, hands down, of any apparel design that I've ever seen. I love it. And I want it so badly, but it's like $250. Um, but it's so beautiful, I need to show your eyeballs. Okay, so um, I'm going to find it. It's Alice Lee and... Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, and oh my gosh, I know her name. I know her name. Sa Sailor HG. Uh, they are collaborating to make the cutest jacket you have ever seen. Where is it? Where can I find it? All right. I know it's on Sailor HG's uh, Instagram, so I'm going to go there. Hmm. Un momento, por favor. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ah, dying. Okay, I'm gonna put a link in the chat and also in the YouTube chat, just so anybody watching on YouTube can also see it. Don't wanna discriminate here. Boom, nailed it. Uh, okay, so this is uh, the, the Instagram of Sailor HG, Sailor Mercury, uh, and she is an artist along with Alice Lee that works together and they made this jacket. They made this jacket, this freaking jacket. It has the embroidery on the back saying making art, breaking hearts. It's so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, though, the design, the sleeves have all of this embroidered on it. It's so good. And it's got this, uh, the like little pastel colors. Oh my gosh, it's got the little pink rings around the sleeve. And on the front, there's a little tiger as well. Okay, I need more pictures. Is it on Alice's that might have more pictures? Let's go to Alice's. Alice, Lee, come on, work with me, work with me. There we go. Yes, Alice has more. Okay, fantastic. Look at that. Ugh. 
Is that not just the cutest thing? Oh my gosh. They're so cute. <laughs> Look at that embroidery. Oh my gosh. So this is why it's so expensive. I know. I know. It's a, it's a chunk of change for sure. But also this is worth it <laughs> if you have that kind of cash because look at this quality embroidery going all the way down the sleeves usually having one sleeve like this would cost you like 200 dollars for an item but also having this gigantic piece on the back the cutest design of just the overall jacket and a little bit of front embroidery too like all of this together is actually a really good steal not even advertising for it just showing my love and appreciation oh my gosh Oh my gosh! Making art, breaking hearts. Do we all need one? Do we all need to be a part of this gang? I think so. <laughs> I want to be with them! They're so cool! <laughs> Their advertising's working! <laughs> okay. Anyways, gushing over. Thank you so much for being a part of this with me. <laughs> yes, Rin says that is a, a ridiculously adorable jacket. I agree. <laughs> Joe says we have to figure out how to get this in the hands of Anna. I don't know if that's attainable, uh, but, you know, I, I thought about it this morning. I was like, how long would I have to save up for this? I think that would be, like, years worth of my clothing budget, I feel like. And I don't have to have a jacket. That's the problem is, like, I usually only buy things that I really, really need. And uh, that's why I have, like, clothing from seventh grade still in my closet. <laughs> And why I've saved money. <laughs> so that's good. But I have these new overalls. And they don't fit perfectly. But I'm keeping them. <laughs> so whatever. Uh, but yeah. That's the kind of stuff that just makes me so happy. To see other artists making the coolest things. And I just want to shout from the heavens. Like holy heck. Also if you've ever seen Alice's work. You know that that jacket is her heart and soul. Like you see it you see it right there oh it's so aesthetically like on point with her and sailor hg okay anyways over over with the gushing thank you all for coming with me on that journey um okay i'm gonna th uh finish up ideas and then i will say goodbye because i know that i should cut it off but like i don't I don't ever want to stop streaming. It's stupid life that gets in the way, okay? I would spend all day with you guys. You know this. You know this to be true. Um, bodies of frogs. Would it... Mm, okay, no. I want it... Mm, I'm trying to think of, like, I faded into just water. But... I don't think I want that. I think I want the satisfaction of having a whole little frog body down here. So I'm going to have to figure out what kind of frog body I would give it. You know, frogs are just weird. <laughs> are they just like floating with their head above the surface? Probably. <laughs> oh, cute. This is how I would sculpt it. Just like a little chunky boy with four sticks for legs actually oh my gosh i should show you guys that also before we leave i need more room so i'm gonna widen this out Beep. uh i'm gonna do drink more water because i think that would fit this Boom. What do you think? What do you say? Well, I'll continue working on these and uh, we'll see where we end up at some point. Maybe this will be a future stream. Uh, we also have these ideas. The, the cat one is freaking me out. It looks too much like an adult. I need to shrink its little bod down. This reminds me of, uh, have you ever seen Laxadaisy? There's a comic that, um, well, I feel like it's, I don't know, is it a comic? like a graphic novel that an artist made i remember it from back on the deviant art days i bet that artist is still doing amazing work they're the best at cat people by uh, by uh, bar none there we go by far bar none those two things were battling in my brain did you see it <laughs> oh cute kenneth says tadpole oh that would be adorable i have to make a note of that uh <laughs> tadpoles are a great idea kenneth thank you cat tadpoles are always the best uh, okay, so I'm gonna just do a little, woo, 
You know what I love about tadpoles? That they have that eel-like body where it could be like a... Fin fin. Beep beep. Hello. My name is Robert. I could tell you a story. One time I went underwater and it was really cool. Jake says, reminds me of, uh, kind of of Beastars, which I have not even seen. I haven't seen that one either. Have you seen BNA? Brand new animal. It's very cool. I like that one a lot. Uh, Anthony Jackson says, you just gave me an idea. Go, gotta do, go, <laughs> I can read. I gotta do some research. Bye. Have a great time, Anthony Jackson. I hope that you, you do the idea. You do the thing. Good job. <laughs> okay. I'm going to grab a sculpt real quick and then I will say adios to you. Oh, no, I hit the microphone way far away. Okay, I'm back. You can hear me. Everything's good. Cool, cool, cool. Rin says, yes, loved BNA. I hope there will be more. I hope so, too. Okay, so uh, I made this little frog guy a while back, and I asked you whether it should be a frog or a... I would put a snoot on it, and it would be like a little mini fox or something. But uh, everybody decided frog, and so we have our little frog. <laughs> I wish I could show it to you closer. Maybe I'll take a pic and put it on the Discord because it's real cute already. It's got no facial design or anything yet. I just did a gradient from like a cooler or a warmer, lighter green to a cooler, darker green. And yeah, there you go. Boom. Little froggo. <laughs> Kendall says frog. <laughs> Jake says that's freaking adorable. It's just a circle. I love it. Uh, Alessandra says this is an awesome stream. Thanks, Anna and everyone. You're awesome. Thank you. Uh, okay, this is a perfect time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for being here for, I know it's kind of a short stream. I wish I could be here longer, but there are things to do and people to see and blah, 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 blah. So uh, we will be back again sometime soon. Anthony will be back this week, but he is still working. So he'll probably be half back, you know, <laughs> uh, but he has been looking forward so much to being back fully. So at some point we're going to have a reunion stream. Maybe he'll even be here in person. I'll have to set up the camera to like fit both of us in it. How cute. Um, but anyways, until then. We will see you very soon. Thank you so much for being awesome. Uh, check out all the links in the description. They are all lovingly chosen for you. <laughs> uh, and remember to stick around on Behance for more streams. There are tons of people here. Give all their videos a little thumbs up. It really helps them. And I hope you have just the best day in your life today. Okay? <laughs> and then a better one tomorrow. And after that, even better. Okay, see ya. Bye.